Hi guys, in this video series, I'll be showing you how to make a winter platformer game in Scratch. So this is part 1 in making a winter platformer game in Scratch. So let's get started. So first let's delete our cat sprite, then go for backdrops. And let's upload our background. So you can go for your game assets folder. And then double click on BG, then you'll get the background image. So click on open. And then you will get the background. So now click on upload sprite and then double click on Santa and select the first costume. Now go for costumes and let's upload the other costumes. So okay now name this as center So okay So if you want to make your own level Click on if you want to make your own levels And then you will get all the things needed to create your own platform. You name this as Deco and go here and name this as platform. So after arranging like this, we need to make some variables, so run speed for all sprites, jump speed for all sprites, fall speed for all sprites, run costume number for all sprites jump costume number for all sprites action in progress for all sprites so now we need to make a block start Click OK and when green flag clicked, we need to start and forever we need to change 
false p by negative 1 and when define start we need to show switch costume to idle 1 and we need to go to x negative 87 and y negative 64 we need to point in direction 90 degrees and we need to set size to 25 and we need to go to front layer and we need to set run speed to 8 set our jump speed to 15 and we need to set run costume number to 0 and jump costume number to 0 and we need to set our fall speed to 0 and we need to set action in progress to end so again now we need to make two so okay now we need to make three more blocks gravity click ok run control and jump control and now when green flag clicked forever we need to gravity and one control and we need to define gravity we need to change our we need to change our y by fall speed and grab if if touching platform so I name this as platform so grab another if else statement so if our fall speed is larger than zero we need to repeat until not touching platforms we need to change y by negative 1 and duplicate this and place it in the else we need to change y by 1 Finally, we need to set fall speed to zero. Okay, our gravity block is completed. Now let's define the one control block. So grab if. If run costume number is greater than 9, we need to set run costume number to 0. So grab if, if key left arrow pass, we need to point in direction negative 90. And we need to move. run speed
we need to move around speed steps and we need to switch costume to we need to join run space zero and run costume number So make sure you don't change any of these names. If you change, so make sure you don't change. So if you change, the game would not work. So make sure. So don't change this name. So if you change this name, the game would not work. So now duplicate this and change this to if right arrow press. We need to point in direction 90, move on speed and switch costume to. And now again duplicate this and. down arrow pressed we need to move by steps and we don't need to point in direction 90 we need to switch costume to not run slide space 0 and run costume number And all of the then we need to change run costume number by one. We need to change here also. And left arrow pressed. It's okay. And now, when when up arrow pressed, we need to forever jump control. Okay, now let's define the jump control block. So we need to set jump costume number to zero, and we need to repeat. We'll So now duplicate this, we need to switch costume to join jump space zero and not one costume number, it should be jump costume number. And we need to change jump costume number by one. And then we need to change our Y by negative one. So grab if touching platforms, we need to set our fall speed to jump speed and finally we need to change our y by 1 
so okay now when green flag clicked forever if grab end not so if not any key press and so grab another end false speed is lesser than zero and and if action in progress equals n then we need to switch costume to idle one which is this costume so now you can see your Santa can run jump and also slide So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe and share. And see you in part 2 in making a winter platformer game in Scratch.